Happy 4th of July, everybody. Uh, today is the Independence Day of our great nation, and I hope you guys are out doing something fun with your family and friends. Or I hope you did, because by the time you see this, it's already happened. Um, Mama Goose and I are heading into town. We got Bree and Itzy behind us, and we're meeting Gabby down there. And today's going to be a fun-filled day of off-roading, going into Bridgeport for their 4th of July uh, fireworks celebration, and going to do some swimming and all kinds of fun stuff. So, uh, what else you got, Tish? You say everything, and then you ask me. All right. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> She's got nothing. All right, guys, we will uh, catch up with you once we get to the trailhead and see if we're going to air down or not. All right, we're just airing down. We just turned off uh, Virginia Lakes Road, headed up to Cavanaugh Ridge. There's a little lake up here where we're going to spend the day before we head up to Bridgeport. So it's going to air down, and uh, we'll be on the trail in no time. Say hi. Say hi, Gabby. Hi. Do you have anything to say? Um, I'm the best of all the Pocheses. Oh. And that's, that's well, all. your camera time's cut off. What's happening? Got it. Unlocked. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sun oh, flare. So tedious. Two more tires to go. Yay, two more tires to go. guys so we made it to this lake uh, on our way to Cavanaugh Ridge uh, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit uh, cook some lunch a little bit later maybe break out the paddleboard depending on if it gets much warmer the clouds keep covering up the Sun so it gets a little chilly so I'm not sure the girls are gonna want to go out there but uh, we'll probably hang out here for two or three hours it was super mild off-roading to get up here um, Gabby sport with no lift made it no problem Four-wheel drive is good only because it's kind of loose uh, soil and kind of steep climbs in some areas, but overall super easy off-roading. So we're just going to hang out here for a couple hours, cook some lunch later, and then uh, we will show you guys the trail to Cavanaugh Ridge, which has got a view that's just killer. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, we are going to get the chicken salad on. Uh, I'm going to get the chicken on for the salad. All right, guys, I'm going to get the chicken on for the... <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get the chicken going here for lunch. Mama Goose and Gabby and Cameron went for a little walk up to the snow. They're trying to throw snowballs at the drone, which I don't very much appreciate. <laughs> so when they get down there, I'll off-camera have a word with them. Um, but in the meantime, 
Uh, no time better than the present to start cooking, so let's get cracking. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up the chicken into uh, sizes that are easy to cook and serve. Salt and pepper goes a long ways when cooking. Sorry, Barry, I forgot your secret seasoning. It's a That's a good job, dear. Thanks. Next trip, Barry. I promise I won't forget. I have it at home locked up in the safe. I want me to try that. Okay, Should I cut the line my hands are clean. Are they? Yes. I don't believe you. Well, they are. Put that over there. I thought she was. I know, I thought that was actually <laughs> Okay. Everyone wants cheese? Yeah, yeah. especially Brie. All right, guys, so we're going to sit down and have some lunch, and then we're going to hit the trail. But Mama Goose is, uh, what is this, dear? Taco salad. So we got some chicken, some tortilla strips, cilantro lime dressing, and of course the lettuce. So we're going to sit down, enjoy our lunch, and then we are going to hit the trail and wait till you guys see what we have in store for you.
well, that was enjoyable, huh, dear? It was. It's a nice way to spend the day. Yeah, I was surprised there weren't very many people at that lake. Although there wasn't a whole lot of water in it, it was still a cool little spot. But now we're gonna finish the day off uh, off roading back to Virginia Lakes Road. And from there, we're going to go up to Bridgeport, which is probably like 10 or 15 minutes up uh, the 395. All right, guys, so we are here in the hills above Bridgeport. Uh, we just spent the last three or four hours in Bridgeport uh, walking around. They had some cool festivities, uh, ate some dinner, and just overall had a good time. We are above Bridgeport in the hills here, as you can see, and the airport is directly in front of us, which is where they're letting off the fireworks. So figured this would be a great spot to sit here, chill and enjoy the evening with my daughters and my wife and my daughter's boyfriend. And then as soon as the fireworks are done, we are gonna head back to Mammoth. So we got a little bit of a drive ahead of us, but uh, it's uh, all in all, it'll be worth it, but uh, Hopefully you guys all had a really good 4th of July to celebrate America's independence and uh, look forward to catching up with you guys tomorrow. But for now, that's all the footage for this evening and we will see you guys tomorrow and who knows what adventure will go on tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning and only got a few more days left here in the cabin. Uh, we leave on Wednesday. So today what I'm going to do is we're going to do a whole lot of fishing. I'm about to go out right now. As you can tell, I got my whole little GoPro get up done so that when I lose some more fish, I can get it on video for you guys. Um, but we are going to do this for probably four or five hours and then uh, head back up here and see what Mama Goose has uh, in store for the rest of the day. So uh, let's get fishing. July 6th. 6th. Good morning, everybody. We are uh, headed to the gas station to get to the range or the check in area for Devil's Post Pile by 7 a.m. It's about Red's Meadow. Red's Meadow. It's about 6 25 right now. Girls are behind us. They need gas. So we're going to do that. Today is Gabby and Cameron's last day up here with us. So we're going to make the most of it by doing a couple hikes in Red's Meadow. Um, and we will definitely get some pictures and film for you because it's as pretty as Yosemite down there. It's different. as pretty. It's as pretty. It's it don't is argue beautiful, with me. You're arguing with Yosemite's me. But Yosemite's different. It's, it's different. It's, it's a meadow, so there's lots of areas you hike, and there's a couple lakes and a river. So, different but beautiful, still. Gorgeous. Are we done? <laughs> we'll see you guys down there. <laughs> All right, guys, so we made it down to Devil's Post Pile. Uh, this is a very, very short hike, maybe half mile, third of a mile. 
And from here, we're gonna do another hike to Minaret Falls, which we've never been to before. So it'll be a first for everybody, but it's about 7.15 in the morning. It is chilly down here. It's probably like 48 degrees, 47 degrees. So uh, once we get there, we'll show you guys what uh, Devil's Post Pot looks like. Point four miles. At least they're giggly and not grumpy. Yeah. Give them a minute. <laughs> How does it know to stay in that shape though? It's a natural shape. We made it to the top of Devil's Post Pile, and they're pooped. It's a pretty steep incline. So you got these like hexagonal shapes. These are the top of what was down below from when the lava cooled form these shapes. Pretty cool. Say hi. Hi, dude. Alright, guys. So we are now on the way to Minaret Falls. It's like a 1.2 mile hike. We've never been there before, so we're not sure what to expect. But uh, we're crossing the San Joaquin River right now, and we'll be there in like 30 minutes or so. Alright guys, so we made it to uh, Minaret Falls, it was a 1.2 mile hike, wasn't bad at all. Um, and it is super beautiful as you can see here. The only problem is I am getting destroyed by mosquitoes right now. So uh, we're going to hang out here for as long as I can stand it and then we will meet you guys back at the Jeep. hike to Minaret Falls and did the uh, Devil's Post Pile. Very, very short trails. <laughs> yeah, short trails. Short day. Well, a little bit of time spent here. It's only 10.30. Yeah, it's only 10.30, but Gabby needs to hit the road, but we're going to have one last lunch in town with her. So we are headed up the hill and one more, stop. One more stop at Minaret Vista where we can look at the minarets. And have then, a nice view of the minarets. I got a nice view right here, dear. <laughs> I think how beautiful this is. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll catch up with you in just a little bit. All right, so that is a wrap for Gabby and Cameron. They just left to go home. We just said goodbye to them. And we are driving back to the cabin now. We are going to soak in that's one thing about the potions is we do. We will soak in every last bit of goodness out of anything that's 
good happening in our lives. And we've got another half a day to spend with Bree and Itzy up here. Well, the rest of today. Yeah, well, I just need to clarify. I mean, we spend the goodness together. As soon as we get back, I'm going fly fishing. <laughs> so don't take it the wrong way. I enjoy spending time with my family and kids, but I got to get a couple hours of fly fishing in. So we're going to do that. They're probably going to go out on the paddleboard anyways and uh, see if they can make Mama Goose fall in the water. No. Can you get three people on a wakeboard? Not, not a wakeboard, a wakeboard. Uh, paddleboard. It's a stand-up paddleboard. Yeah, can you get three people on a stand-up paddle stand-up paddleboard? We will find out. They're gonna find <laughs> out. So I'm gonna do some fishing. They're gonna do some paddleboarding for a couple hours. We're gonna regroup back at the cabin. Uh, start picking up a couple things to get ready for our departure tomorrow. And then I got one more evening session left of me of fishing. But today was a good day. It was fun. It was a good final day with Gabby and Cameron, and the weather is perfect. It's 83 degrees up here, one and uh, it's about 112. And we have the rest of the day to enjoy. So. Yes, we're gonna have we're gonna spend great quality family time together. Separately. Separately. <laughs> it's like Vegas Vacation, my fav my favorite movie ever. Everybody, it's like alone time. No, Clark it's a, Griswold on your says own day. on your own. Yeah, on your on your own day. I'm good with an on your own day. Okay, dear. Once in a while, dear. <laughs> I get lonely. We're together, but on our own. Yeah, yeah, just different parts of the lake. Yeah. You guys stay on your recreation side, leave the fisherman side alone. Kind of feel like we're starting to ramp. It only is if you say it is. Well, now it wasn't it's until you said it. It's so. a ramp. All right, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. There's number one. Hi, dears. Two. They're small ones, though. You guys are in the prime location right here. I'm going to have to ask you guys to move on. Bye. <laughs> All right, so this is about as much fun as I expected it to be. It's a paddleboard on a lake. It's almost panicky down here because <laughs> she thinks it's not real sturdy. You're very wobbly. She says it's wobbly. You're very wobbly. You're making it wobbly. I wonder if I should scoot up. Stop! 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 <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> there. Oh. Tell you what, this is a lot faster than the uh, flow tube. The flow tube takes forever to get the point A to point B. Bye, Belle. Hello, JL. All right, guys, it is our very last evening here in Mammoth, and uh, we figured we'll just let Brianna drive. She loves being on camera. <laughs> uh, we're driving her uh, 2020 JL uh, Sport, but we got the lift on it. You guys have seen the video where I did the lift kit. Uh, Mama Goose in the back. Say hi, Mama Goose. And I actually am doing the fatherly thing, family man, they call it. I am going to sacrifice fishing today, this evening, to spend time with my darling angels. Uh, it is our last night here in Mammoth, and we're going to make the most of it. And there's no better way of doing it but by going to get some pizza. <laughs> Everybody loves pizza, right? So, I mean, we've been eating like crap on this trip anyway, so what's one more bad meal? Um, <laughs> but, man, this car is really making me think. Is 395 Junkie going to get rid of his JK and get a JL? No. <laughs> no, he's not. 
I love Belle. Belle ain't going nowhere. She's my primary vehicle. But I got to say, I want to use this opportunity and tell you guys this right now. If you made it this far in the video, which is probably the second video, uh, you deserve to know that Mama Goose and I are not buying a new JL. But we are making some major, major big moves that are going to be coming to the channel pretty soon. And I can't wait to tell you guys more about it uh, we're just in the beginning stages of what is going to be an amazing amazing adventure more to come later but for now we're going to enjoy the rest of the evening with the girls and with pizza and maybe some ice cream and uh that'll about do it for this evening i'm going to put the camera down we're going to enjoy each other's company before the girls head out tomorrow and Mama Goose and I, we have no idea what we're going to do. We're going to go camping somewhere. I don't know. We're going to, yeah, we're going to find somewhere to camp. Yeah. One more night. One we more night. It's a minor night. Yes, we do. All right, guys. We will see you first thing in the morning when it's time to head out. This is no joke. This is a learning experience. Uh, every evening before we went to bed, I would pull the trash out of the trash roof from the day because we don't want any bear issues well I just came outside to do just that and there is trash all over the outside of the Jeep which I've got a real mess over here I have no idea if the bear is still around or not so my girls are gonna stay right here no. I am gonna go over there okay. I've got hurry I'm pretty sure it's clear so lesson be learned get your trash before you even go in the cabin for the night it just got dark outside so let me see this camera i'll take you guys with me it's not that son of a gun all right i need a trash bag he's gone oh let me see the bag my how did he get it i'm so confused mess that was made out there I don't understand how it got in here because these are still closed it just pulled, it the, just bag pulled out. the bag out without getting it's not ripped it's wet like he was chewing on it or something Ew. I don't know yeah but nothing's ripped NBX, Northbound Expeditions, Garb Bag. Bear proof. Bear proof. <laughs> kind, kind of. of. <laughs> oh, well, that was an exciting end of the evening. Well, what's that dangling? Oh, that's trash bag. Oh, look at he chewed right here on the garb. Good stuff. NBX Northbound Expeditions. I guess I don't need a new garb bag, but feel free to use this as an infomercial for <laughs> your guys' uh, YouTube channel. Good morning. Good morning. Wednesday, Wednesday morning, uh, 9 a.m. And Mama Goose and I are making the decision to basically call the trip a little bit short. Uh, we're going to head back home today. Today is day number eight of being away from the house. So and it's hardly short. It's hardly short. Uh, but we were thinking of camping for a couple of days, but we've got some uh, pressing issues at the house and business that uh, need to be taken care of with work and a bunch of other stuff that we got going on right now. So, But it was um, Mammoth is really nice you know we've been coming here for over a decade every single year every summer our family vacation has been in mammoth yep so it's a very very special place if you guys have never yes. been uh definitely go and visit There's not a whole lot of overlanding in the town of mammoth but between mammoth and june lake 
there's endless trails where you can do and Bridgeport that you can do, uh, you know, uh, dispersed camping. So I would highly encourage you guys. Our base camp was the cabin. Base camp yes. was the cabin. And we ventured out every day. We were all over the place. To go do something every day. Yosemite, Bridgeport, Cavanaugh Ridge. Yeah. Yeah, so it was good. But I'm not sure. I, I think this will probably be a two-part series. So you're probably watching the second video of the trip. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We certainly enjoyed taking you guys along for the ride. And you can see uh, our crazy family, how we re how we interact with one another. <laughs> but uh, feeling really blessed. I'm glad uh, all my girls were able to join me once again, jo join us once again. Uh, but until next time, I hope everyone is doing well and you guys are enjoying your summer vacation. And until then, happy trails.